What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode. The first episode, I should say, of our coverage of the escape mode in Prison Architect. Those of you that have been around for a really long time will remember that when I had like five subscribers, Prison Architect had just came out. And so I ended up playing it back then, but I haven't played it since. But I heard they were doing an escape mode, and I was very, very excited about being a part of that. And so I got a key so that we could check out the escape mode before it actually releases. And so in escape mode, you actually are inside a prison that can be built by a player or yourself or whoever. And you have to escape from it by becoming a badass and starting a gang. And so I'm going to check it out. I don't know how long. This is kind of like a standalone series. It goes off to the side for me. But I think we should be able to escape. And so there's escape mode right there. And they even sent over, the developers sent over a test prison that you could escape from. Just to be super kind and make my job easy. So thank you developers. Let's do our escape attempt. Oh, there we are. We're inside of a jail bus right now. We start with just our fists and a mohawk. Our name is Raiding? That's kind of cool. I mean, I thought it said Rattling for a second, which really made me feel like we were doing like a Vermintide crossover. It seems like the scene in the movie where it would go in slow-mo and there'd be like some blues song in the background. Be like, oh, Jesus, Jesus, hold my weed now. I don't know. It just seems like it'd be in slow-mo. Please help me, Lord Jesus, in my time of need. And then there'd be like some random choir in the background like, Ooh. So there's Wyatt, Lawrence, Davies, and Ratting. We control the game with WASD just like you would do in any other action game. We got a badass mohawk and a beard. I'm feeling pretty confident about our ability to take guys out. We're also shaped like kind of a roundish triangle, which if you've got to be a shape, I figured that's the one that denotes the upper body strength, but still the good core, like we've been doing some sit-ups and stuff. We're all ready to punch some fools. I think we can speed this up and make it go faster. There we go. Jesus, bonk, 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 bonk. take me to my cell. It'd be on blues. It'd be like old time killing for blues or whatever. Is that the name of the song? Either. Oh, he came with shades into prison. How do you get the Ray Bans when you come into prison? What kind of prestige do you have to have to get Ray Bans when you go to prison? So as I understand it, the point of oh, we're supposed to go and shower. Let's go shower. You want to get in a fight? You've got the same facial hair and also the same things as me, and that upsets me. I think we can break. Oh, no, 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 no. No, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. No, don't surrender. Okay, so I've already messed up. I've already made a mistake. Apparently, I surrendered, but I broke that thing over there. So the point of the game, I sh <laughs> I'm already screwing up right now. Let me start off with my explanations. So the point of the game is to break stuff and kill people and hurt things so that you get reputation points. When you get reputation points, you can then spend them on random stats like strong, which makes you punch harder, or skilled fighter, which allows you to disarm people. And so it's a little bit of an RPG action game along the way. And we can get slots over here. We can recruit a gang. We can do all kinds of fun stuff. And so anyways, I shouldn't have surrendered right there. I should have just, like, gone for it. We've got one minute left on our sentencing inside of our cell, and so... Let's step on out here. We gotta look out for guards. So the first thing we wanna do is break some stuff so we can get ourselves some rep points. And so obviously we have to invoke our inner, who is it? I don't know, Limp Biscuit. You know, isn't that song called Break Stuff? I remember that song vaguely from when, oh, this guy looks like a victim over here. Bad day to be you, Davis. Bad day to be you, Davies. And you gotta fight people. And so you'll see up at the top, we got plus one to our points up there. If I can knock this guy out, I'll get a bunch of reputation. And so most of the time, unless a guard walks by, you should be good. I'm gonna go look down the hallway real quick. Oh no. Run away. Please don't bother me, guard. Please don't bother. I wasn't doing anything. I was just hanging. Give me your stick. Give me your stick. I told you. Give me that stick right there. I feel like our first day in prison has been a rough one. How come we're not taking his stick right? I mean, we're taking his stick to the side of the face, I guess. So anyways, what you would hope for is that nobody would witness your crime along the way. And the point is to level up, get reputation points, and become stronger. Now I'm going to skip my punishment because it can cost you one free point to skip your punishment. And obviously I don't want to sit around over here waiting for myself to just, like, stare at the screen the entire time. And so Davies is still unconscious over here. If I had killed him, I would have got more XP. And so basically we just need to commit crimes. It's kind of like Grand Theft Auto inside of, like, a random prison setting. There we go. I broke that chair. Here, put your, put your dukes away, man. Put your dukes away. So you can end fights by pressing space. If you walk around with your dukes up, you are going to get caught. We broke that chair over there. That's what that chair gets. We could also beat up the maintenance staff. But I figure for right now, we should probably have a walk around the campus and see exactly where things are at. Let's have a look here. So all these cells down here are the ones that we live inside of. The shower's right there. These little scanners look for contraband on you. 
so make sure that you don't have contraband when walking around. That's the library, just in case you want to make yourself a little bit more literate. Did somebody see me do that? I don't think anybody saw me. I'm going to go in the library real quick. Let's go ahead and end the fight real fast. They may or may not be coming after me. I'm not really super sure how it's all going to work. Sometimes they seem to have some kind of weird, like, mega precognitive ability to know that you committed a crime. And I don't want to go to the shoe right now. For anybody who doesn't know what the shoe is, it's a secure housing unit. That's what they call it in the U.S. anyways. It's when they put you in solitary. You can also call it, like, SEG or anything like that. Protective custody, PC. You can go to PC. You can go to the shoe. You can go to solitary. Bunch of different slang names for where they put you all by your lonesome... I think these doors open occasionally. Davies is in handcuffs. I could roll this dude right now. We should probably just look for more stuff to break, though. How hard is it to break a toilet? I figure it'd be pretty hard. There we go. All right, put the fists away. We don't want anybody to catch us. We're getting reputation for breaking stuff. We can also recruit people to our team. I'm going to avoid this little gingery guy over there. Chiavarela. He seems like he'd probably be pretty Mortensen over here. You know he's the psycho. You know this guy right here has been doing all kinds of damage outside. It's because he looks too mundane. You know he's done like the most depraved, horrible shit ever. I'll probably go for skill fighter though. So I got skill fighter at max right now, which means I can knock weapons out of people's hands. And that's actually really, really important because it's the only way you're going to be able to fight the guards long term. Oh, we get to eat right now? Well, hell, I love food. Let's go eat. Wait, the canteen's up there. Oh, please help me, Jesus. Give me five dollars now. My canteen is empty, and I need some chow. Sometimes you gotta talk to Jesus and make sure that he gives you the stuff that you want. Can I pick this up? So how come you got like all the beans and broccoli, Malone? Like how do I get some food? I'm gonna eat this guy's food. This guy's food is now my food. I don't want to punch anything because I'm in a public area where there's hella guards. Well, there's one guard. Apparently, Mortensen wasn't allowed in the kitchen. I don't know. He's been peeing in the tomato soup or something. They finally cut. Wait, how did the... Oh, there's a prison riot. This is usually a pretty good time to, like, stack up and do some badass shit. Maybe we can't eat just yet because the game is in early development right now, so some features may not be that or I'm just doing it wrong. That's the other possibility. Man, there's a big old fight in here. Fuck, is this guy dead over here? He's a snitch and he's ex-law enforcement. Do we get like bonus points for taking people out? Because snitch and ex-law enforcement means you're not making it through prison. I'm just letting you know if that's on your resume when you go to prison, you might as well get fitted for a coffin now. You ain't walking away from this one. Pigeon's over here doing some kind of molestation to the random telephone booth. I don't know what he's doing. He's rubbing himself on. He's like, this over here is my telephone booth. Nobody else can have the... Oh, he's dead. Wow. Okay, so apparently the stakes are high in here. And I don't just mean that there's a weird amount of THC in all of the steaks that they serve us. Hmm. Gotta look for somebody to fight. I kinda want this guy's shades. I might beat him up for his shades because that's how prison goes. We got yard time right now. Where is the yard at? I'm in speed up time. Let's walk around and get a feel for kind of the lay of the land. So in here is the laundry. Got the common room. A bunch of cells. Canteen is up here. Can I go through there? No, I can't go through there. Do I need a guard to take me through here? I think I need a guard to let me through those. On this side, it looks like we've got green doors. Why did that go off? I don't have any contraband on me right now. So, Oh, there's scissors over here? Well, then give me some scissors. Keister those things. Are those any good? They do. Oh, they're a digging tool? Holy shit. Who knew? No! I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you. I'm going to fight you with my scissors. Yeah! Stabbings! Dead guards! Victory is mine! Enjoy your scissoring, that's what you get. How much damage does that do? Oh, I'm stabbing this guard too. Let's get in here. He's dropped his weapon. Ah! Fight him! Fight him! Oh no, there's so many guards. I've been knocked unconscious and I've been handcuffed. Welcome to my life. And I keistered a nightstick. I killed a guard though, that's pretty cool. Not for the guard, but it's pretty good for me. Oh, where are they taking me right now? Are you guys going to execute me? No, this is inhumane treatment of prisoners. Oh, man, there's all kinds of good shit in the green rooms. Yeah, I think they're taking me to the shoe. At least we'll get a lay of the land by doing this. Get a feel for where everything's at. So we got yard time right there. Oh, they took me to the infirmary? I get heals and drugs? Dude, this is the best day ever. Kill a guard, get XP, then they give you drugs afterwards. Man, what a day. 
What a fantastic day to be alive. Guard, I would love it if you would take me back to my cell, please. I'm going to go ahead and speed up time so that you can do that more rapidly. I've got 13 hours until I'm out of prison. Oh, my God. What are those right there? They're marked A. I don't play this game, so I don't know what any, like, the little graphics are or whatever. I've got to be in here for 13 hours for killing a guard? That actually seems pretty lenient. I mean, we murdered a human being, so... 13 hours seems pretty genuine. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip my punishment real fast. All right, so now that we're back in our cell... I figure I'll just destroy shit for a little while. It seems like a good plan. There's a garbage bag over here. Do I, like, have to go to the canteen? Ah, I broke your trash can. I broke your trash can. That's what you get. It was a trash bag, but I'm not good at identifying containers and surfaces and things. I'm going to dash over. I'm going to break all these toilets. These toilets are boned. And then I'm going to end the fight so that I don't look suspicious. I'm like, all right. You know, nobody's punching any toilets around here. I'm definitely not the serial toilet puncher that you guys have been looking for. No! Chia Varela! He's been locked up. I want him on my team. I'm gonna hook up with that guy pretty soon. Hale? He looks kind of sad, but I think I could cheer him up with just like some generally applied violence. I would like to go get food if you would allow me to go through here. Thank you. Food time! Oh, help me, Jesus! I need some food! I feel like every prison movie needs slow-mo, and then on top of that it needs just bluesy music. So, reputation. I'm gonna go for... I'm an unusually fast runner, and so I can run by holding shift. That'd be pretty badass. Instigator makes it so that, A, we become part alligator, and then, two, it makes it so that we break out in prison riots every time we fight. I thought her name was Tired for a second. I was like, damn, you're so tired, your name is Tired. That's wild. Why did your mom... I'm going to go through here because Creaser needs to go through. He's still working at a laundromat. He's really, really, really good at putting pleats in your clothes. So I think the guards, I'm not going to, I was going to break those trash cans, but I don't think I'm going to do it right now. Ed Creaser, you aren't like a snitch or anything like that, because if you are, I don't want you on my team. I don't want people to think that I hang out with snitches and ex-law enforcement guys in prison. All my guys have to be like ready and willing and able. I'll probably go for strong too so that I hit harder with my punches, and then I'll probably go with quick so that I can run around faster. Oh, look at that. I can run really fast. That's pretty cool. It's more like gliding, but I'll take it. So he's stationed. I don't know exactly what that... Why is there trash inside the solitary confinement unit? Guard, look, this over here. I think you guys... What are you doing? Why am I... No! He's taking me back to my cell. Am I in trouble? Or am I just supposed to go to sleep? Oh, I guess I'm just supposed to go to sleep. All right. I will sleep through the night. Our first day at prison, pretty productive. I mean, we beat a guy. We murdered a guard. We've become super strong, and we've also apparently gotten amazing capoeira skills or something while we've been out here. Can I can I sleep for longer? Oh, look, we're out of here. We've got free time again. Is there, like, a camera or something in here? Like, how did they know that I had broken the shower? Like, how were they aware of that? Yeah, chain-breaking shit. Chain-breaking shit. And then we'll get up out of here. Got ourselves tons of XP for that. Hell yeah. So, Nava, you want to be on my team? He's strong. He already has points. All right, you're on my team. Let's go. Oh, Nava. Apparently, we cat call him. And then he joins up like, hey, girl. You look super fine, Nava. How you like to come out in my cell? Yeah, after yard time tonight, come hang out with me. I give you the cuddles. And so now we have a homie who will run around with us and help us break free. I don't know exactly what the best plan is here because I've never done this before. But I'm going to break this chair. Because this chair looks like an asshole and it deserves it. Alright, let's get out of here. Come on, we share XP, by the way. Alright, we can't get caught. Not right now. Not right now. I think that camera right there. Can I break the camera? What happens if I... I don't want to go back to the shoe, though. I don't want to break... Oh, we got shower time. Let's go wash our crack real fast because nobody likes that stinky guy on the block. When you in D-block, your ass better not talk. And by talk, I mean make stinky sense. So is there any point in me being over here? Do I have to do this? Let's make you super strong, and let's recruit some men. You know what, Wyatt? You're going to be on my team from now on. Scott Wyatt. He's got shades. I figure he's probably a good guy to have around if he's got shades. I'll probably make him instigate. No. I'm going to max myself out first. I'm going to give myself all the stats before we do anything else. And once it's no longer shower time, I think we're going to murder Mortensen. I think Mortensen looks a little sad. We need to put him out of his misery. How do I use this shower over here? Like, how do I get nudie and make this happen? How do I get nudie and wash my patootie? I would love to do that. Hmm. Hale looks so sad. I kind of want him to join my team just because of how sad he looks. We got to break some shit first. 
Can I break this camera? There we go. Let's mess up the laundry real quick. Yeah, it ain't laundry day today. We're messing up everything around here, causing problems. Yeah, your ironing board, your clothes are going to be all wrinkly. Ah, take that, society. Take that, society, and your poor expectations of my behavior. Cool. So, three XP for wrecking up the laundry room. That's pretty sweet. The maintenance guy will come by and fix it later. I assume that that's a thing in the sandbox mode now. I don't know. I've never played the sandbox mode. If I have a good enough time with this, I might make a sandbox series and just play some, play some prison architect and just kind of see how things go. Is it free time right now? I kind of want to murder Mortensen. I don't know why, but when I look at him, I'm really just filled with the lust for violence. There's a bunch of guards. His name is Dumber? Dumber than who, though? That would be the joke. The entire time, we're like, Dumber than who, though? We could murder this lady guard over here if we really wanted to be violent. I think the shower is probably your best bang for your buck, though. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. I'm a break showers. I guess we could start a riot out here. Oh, it's on now. It's on now, guards. And I stole your nightstick. I stole your nightstick. I stole your nightstick. Now y'all go die. Ah, I killed two guards. Look at all this XP I'm getting right now. Yup. Get dealt with, guard. Oh, we killed a bunch of guards. So what happens if I pick up these right here? I gotta protect my homies real fast. Gotta protect my homies. If they go down, it doesn't shine well on me. You gotta put it down for the click. You gotta put it down for the click. Damn, we have killed so many guards right now. Like, we have legitimately wounded a large proportion of the standing guard force here. Do they ever, like, lock down or come at us with rifles or anything? Because I've murdered a lot of guards. Oh, they finally knocked out all my dudes. It might be better to run. It might be better to run. I don't know. Get out of the way, everybody. Get out of the way. I'm not going to surrender. Never let go. Never surrender. Never surrender, Rose. I will never surrender. You can't stop me. Running in circles, the ultimate strategy. Jingly jangly jing to you too on your little, I don't know, do they just spawn more guys over and over and over again? I have keys right now, so technically I would love it if you guys, oh look, the nurse lady came by to take him, take that nurse lady. I knocked her out with one hit. <laughs> I feel like such an asshole right now. Oh, run away, run away. The guards are coming every day, every way. Oh, I'm doing pretty well right now. You want to punch me, guard? You want to punch me? You don't even know me. Yeah, walk backwards. Ultimate strategy. I hit a guy in the face. No! Duck past her. We got a prison riot going. Are my guys back up now? I got to knock out some guards. It's my only chance. It's my only chance. There goes another guard. Prison riot! Riot! This jungle is ours. Treat us like animals and get slayed like animals. Shit, I'm about to get whooped on. Yeah, he's... W there we go. There we go. Knock him out. Kill him real fast. All right, the guard's dead. Man, this is... No! I've been captured! Dude, we got so much rep. Everybody here thinks that we're like the coolest. We're like that girl that got voted for homecoming of murder. Oh, this is the best. This is the best. So do my homies get taken out? I think my homies probably get taken out. Not for a nice dinner either. Damn. That was a run right there. I can skip my punishment for a rep point? Well, I'm going to do that then because I have like 200 of them. Where are my homies at? Did they get out? We can also control the homies in case you were wondering. And so like you can get people up to no good if you really want to. I think we should probably... Man, there are guards everywhere right now. We did like some bad stuff. Like for real. I figure at this point they just take you out behind by the barn and like shoot you to death after you stuttered for a little... Mortensen, no, I didn't get to murder you. Why didn't I get to murder you, Noble Mortensen? Oh, that little guy over there. This guy's kind of a badass. I sort of want him on my team. Where are my homies at? Let's go find my homies real fast. So we could do that part of the movie, like, where now we're in prison, but we've gotten reputation, and so we walk in slow-mo, and then we get that super cool East Coast gangster beat where it's like, ba bow chicka bow chicka bow chicka bow and then the trumpets come in like, bink 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 Bow, bow, chicka, bow, chicka, bow. Like people flinch when we walk down the hall. So gangster right now. So where are these guys? You guys want to hang out with me? Here, come hang out with me. So do I have to re-recruit them or do they come and hang out with me after a while? I don't want Beck Slatter. I don't like him. He's smelly and he looks upsetting. We have a lot of people here like ready to eat. I hope the guards come by at some point. Let's max out our reputations. I'm going to be tough from now on. 
I'm also going to be apparently deadly, which means that I can kill with a single hit. And then I'm also going to be an instigator. On top of that, I'll probably just max out all my homies, too, and make them super strong. Man, this is <laughs> this escalated quickly. I've been here for like an hour and a half, and I'm already like the Grand Bujitsu Master of Prison Murder. The grand Are there no guards left to open any of the doors? Are we going to starve to death? I think we might starve to death. I say we break the gate. Yeah, gate broken, gentlemen. Gate broken. Let's go, Wyatt. Let's go, homie. Oh, what, you want to fight me, Beck Slatter? You don't know me like that, Beck Slatter. You want to fight? Let's fight. Oh, there is a guard left. Look at him right there. Hmm. This is probably already out of control. Oh, I got your knife. I killed him with one hit. You see that? I one-shotted the guard with my nightstick. Dude, this is the best. All right, we're leaving out the front door. Let's go. Bow, bow. Sorry, that's what you get, Beck Slatter. I don't make the rules, but I do enforce them. I'm not even, like, wounded right now. Oh, one-shotted! Knocked out so hard. How will you ever face the other guards when you get knocked out that hard? So did these open the doors? Oh, they do. Sorry, Creaser. It's time for you to go. Sometimes a man needs to get some rep for murder. And now Creaser's dead. Janitor? Oh, you better run, Janitor. You better run, Janitor. It's on now. Hale, I like you. I'm gonna let... You have a gun? Oh, he has a drill. I thought he had a laser gun for a second. I got scared. I was like, man, shit just escalated for real. This dude's got a laser gun. Where do we go from here? He's got a laser gun. So, my homies don't seem to know me. Oh, do they have police dogs? Dude, that would be so... Oh, I murdered him. Are there police dogs? I thought I heard dogs barking. Oh, shit, no! Get back! Get back! I have, I have a real fear of attack dogs. I am the dog mer- Oh, shit, he's got a gun! He's got a gun! No! Apparently, it's a knockout gun, which is actually pretty generous considering how many human beings I just murdered. Like, I'm really filling up those body bags. Holy shit. Well, our first attempt at escaping from prison, it doesn't really seem to require me to be very clandestine. So I figure at some point, I'm going to skip my punishment too because I got the currency to do it. Look at that, kids. If you do a job right, man, they still haven't cleaned up my body count from before. I'm going to break all these telephones because I don't like the way that they look. And then I'm probably going to break off the episode. This is Prison Architect, the update for the escape mode, which is pretty sweet. I think we'll probably be able to escape out of here pretty soon. I'm going to break some more shit and just like walk around generally being a nuisance to everyone around me. And then because nobody, they all refuse to execute me, I suppose that I'll just stomp the yard and be a general terror. I'll see you later. Hi, do everybody.